Hi, I'm Nancy Drew. Since you can tell a lot about a person by where he or she lives, I thought I'd introduce myself by showing you my room. As you can see, I keep it pretty neat. Of course, I don't spend that much time in here. I always seem to be off solving mysteries. Anyway, here's my center of operations, my desk. Go ahead and poke around. If you want to know the particulars of how I do what I do, take a look at the book titled How to Be a Detective. It's real helpful, especially if you're new to the mystery solving business. And be sure to check out my scrapbook. I put memorabilia from all my past cases in there. A lot of them were pretty dangerous and at times really scary. I don't say anything about that to my dad, okay? He worries about me enough as it is. And whatever you do, read what's in the file called Case File. That will tell you all about the mystery I'm about to try to solve. If you think you're ready to dive into that mystery, just click on the plane ticket and you'll be on your way. When Chantal told me you were just a young thing, well, I thought she was pulling my leg. But you're not much older than my little girl, Freddie. Well, if one of the people at the lodge is to blame for all those accidents, Chantal thinks somebody like me has a better chance of figuring out who it is than somebody more, you know, hard-nosed. Chantal has a bad habit of making up her mind without thinking things clear through. But no need for you to tell her I said that, of course. Is she still in Edmonton? Afraid so. Insurance company's giving her and her lawyers a real hard time. Left running the lodge up to me. Which is why I'm not real crazy about the idea of having somebody new underfoot. Especially if something else happens. I won't be underfoot, Mr. Randall. And I may be young, but I'm no novice when it comes to solving mysteries. We're here, so you'll get to prove yourself soon enough. <laughs> you hear that? Well, now, what was that? Was anyone in the bunkhouse when it exploded? No, ma'am. Uh, everyone here at the lodge is accounted for. Oh, that's where Elsa and Becky had been living. Guess it was a good thing they quit after all. Elsa was my maid and Becky was my cook. Does the sheriff have any idea why the bunkhouse exploded? He said he'd know more after the lab was done running tests on the debris he'd collected. He did say the blast was pretty powerful. One of his deputies found the knob to the back door clear out on the highway. Oh, that does it. Nancy, you have to find out who or what is behind these incidents, and you have to do it fast. You sure you don't want to give your daddy a call? I'm gonna admit to him that I can't handle running just one guess again. Besides, Nancy comes highly recommended, and I'm sure she's got a foolproof plan for getting to the bottom of this. Don't you, Nancy? Well, I was thinking that maybe I'd just be your new maid. You wanna be my maid? That would give me access to everyone's room, and I could question people without making them overly suspicious. Oh, yeah! That's an excellent idea! All right, you're my new maid. In fact, you're my new cook, too. Your cook? Well, that way, Ollie can stop pretending he can even read a recipe, let alone follow one. You'll have even more excuses to talk to the guests, and I won't have to pay anyone. Why, well, I think that's a fine idea, ma'am. Now, we're not taking any more guests until this accident thing is cleared up, so I want both of you to make sure that the four guests we have are well taken care of. Especially that Olympic-caliber cross-country skier from Fredonia, Yanni Volkstaya. The flair he brings to the lodge is just what I need to attract the European jet-setting crowd. I'm gonna be pretty busy trying to get rid of that wolf, Chantal. We heard it howl last night, just before the bunkhouse blew up. Well, do whatever you have to, Ollie. Oh, and Nancy? I want you to call this police detective I've hired as a consultant. I put his number on the phone there at the lodge. In fact, I think you know him. Tino Balducci? 
I gotta go. My lawyer's here. Good luck, you guys, and keep me posted. Coming! Tino Balducci. I'll get you a master key and leave it in your room. If you need anything else, I'll be in the basement. This must be the key Ollie said he'd leave for me. And this must be a list of which guest is in what room. That'll come in handy. Skating pond maintenance. Oh, looks like I'm going to be doing a little bit of everything while I'm here. Report all avalanches to the avalanche patrol. Chantal, this is my formal notice of resignation. Please call me at 555-2383 if you expect any delay with the check. Elsa. Looks like Elsa was having major boyfriend problems. Contents deleted. Wonder why?
This must be where I drop the laundry bag after I'm done cleaning all the rooms. Trapper Dan's Needle. Trapper Dan, seen here with his pet pig, Mary. Young and old alike have stayed at Icicle Creek Lodge throughout its 100-year history. Hmm, looks like some of the pictures are missing. Snowshoes owned and used by Trapper Dan in early 1900s. Bone which Trapper Dan found near the lodge. He believed it came from a race of giants known as Rexes. The bone's not there. I wonder what happened to it. Well, hello there. You must be the new maid Ollie told us about. I'm Bill Kessler. This guy's Lou Talbot. Hey. What's your name again? Nancy. Nancy Drew. Just thought I'd come over and say hello. Well, Lou here is a grad student. Art major of all things. You're probably gonna need a jackhammer and some hydrochloric acid to clean his room, eh? Have you two been at the lodge for a while? About a week, I guess. I checked in right after he did. We sat down after breakfast one morning and discovered that this fox and geese game is pretty darn fun. I've been whipping his tail ever since. You didn't just come here to play games, did you? Heck no. I came for the ice fishing. Of course, knowing there's a renegade wolf running around is kind of dampened my enthusiasm. Have you seen the wolf? Just heard it. Every night since I've been here, in fact. Gets creepier each time. They should get rid of it, and the sooner the better. They didn't put up with wolves prowling around this place 40 years ago, and they shouldn't put up with them now. Who would argue, Little Red Riding Hood? That wolf's not hurting anybody. People should just leave it alone. You'll be singing a different tune when it has some little kid for breakfast, then has you for lunch. Not gonna happen, dude. Trust me, if something bad can happen, chances are it eventually will, dude. Hey, I know what you can do. Shovel the snow off the skating pond so we can do some speed skating. Lou here thinks he's faster than me. You're like ancient. Of course I'm faster than you. You may have youth on your side, my friend, but I've been working construction since before you were born, which means I am more fit now than you will ever be. Get that pond shoveled so we can settle this, okay, kiddo? Consider it done. Oh, no. Is something wrong? You, you are what is wrong. Chantal said there would be no more guests to make noise at all hours and disturb my training. Yet what stands before me? A new guest. No, no, I'm not a guest. I'm Nancy Drew, the new maid. And the new cook. Forgive me. Allow me to start over. I am Yanni Vokstaya. I am here to train for the Eastern European Cross Country Championship. I spend my days doing interval work, drills, and isometric exercises. I follow a strict program, one painstakingly designed by a team of the best coaches in Fredonia. In fact, under no circumstances are you to use your key to let anyone into my room. My competitors are constantly spying on me, trying to steal my techniques. 
You think someone's spying on you way out here? One can never be too careful, so know this. If anything is missing or so much as out of place in my room, you can expect a visit from me, and it will not be a pleasant one. I hear that a major cross-country skiing competition may be held in this area in a couple of years. This is very true. It will rival the Olympics. Could that be the real reason you came here to train? As long as I have to train, why not train in the place where I must eventually put that training to use? As we say in Fredonia, I am simply milking two goats with one bucket. Besides, my competitors will stop at nothing to defeat me. I am forced to seek out and exploit every possible advantage open to me. I take no pride in some of the things I've done to bring victory to my country, but I have no choice. Have you ever seen the wolf while you were out training? No, for which I'm very grateful. In my country, in Fredonia, it is said that the gaze of the wolf will make you go blind. You don't really believe that, do you? They are creatures of infinite evil, and that is all I am going to say on the matter. Thanks for taking the time to talk to me. We'll talk again, I'm sure. Need something? I'm just trying to get the lay of the land, or the lay of the lodge in this case. Well, this is my workshop. I'm building something that's gonna solve all our problems. A wolf trap. One that'll finish off that thing out there once and for all. You think the wolf is causing the accidents? Not a doubt in my mind. Everything was A-OK -okay till it showed up and started howling. It's bad luck, and something's protecting it. Something unnatural. Why do you say that? Yesterday I went looking for it. I tracked it and finally found it, sitting across the creek, not twenty yards away from me, just staring at me. So I raised my rifle, drew a bead, and fired. Easiest shot I've ever taken in my life. And I missed. So I fired again, and I missed, and then I missed again, and again, and all the while it just sat there staring until finally it just stood up, walked toward the brush just as calm as could be, and disappeared. Wild animals just don't act like that, and I just don't miss like that. There's something real weird about that wolf, and I ain't gonna rest till I get rid of it. So maybe we should just find something else to jaw about. You met my little girl yet? No, but you mentioned that her name is Freddy? Yep. Spends most of her time outside. She built herself a little snow fort. Just sits out there waiting for somebody to go by so she can pick a snowball fight with them. I keep asking her how she manages to stay warm all day, but she won't tell me. Says she's got a secret weapon. <laughs> yeah, she's something. How long have you worked for Chantal? About a year and a half. I was her first hire. Best hire, too. I could run this place single-handed if I had to, just like I'm doing now. Have you ever been in the guest lodge business before? I tried my hand at it once. Long story short, didn't work out. But I've learned a whole lot since then. I could make it work now. Just need to find the right property, get my hands on enough cash to make a down payment, that's all. Can you tell me more about the accidents that have been happening around here? Nope, sure can. You can't or you don't want to? Chantal and those lawyers of hers said I couldn't talk about them. Supposed to direct all questions to her. Sorry. Does your wife, Freddy's mom, does she live here too? In the summer she does, but in the winter she goes south. See, she's got this nerve condition that makes her real sensitive to cold. Freddy'd like to go with her, but until Chantal stops putting off giving me that raise she promised me, sending Freddy south too is out of the question. I'll let you get back to work. Keep me posted. Oh, it feels wonderful in here. Hi, Chantal. It's Nancy Drew. You know who's behind the accident? Not quite yet. Oh. About Tino, I'm not totally comfortable with the idea of consulting with him on this case. Why not? Two heads are always better than one, and I find him to be very knowledgeable and kind of charming. 
Do you know what he did when we were on that train trip Lori Gerard arranged? He didn't go into a lot of detail, but he did say that that's all water under the bridge. In fact, I insist that if and when you're stumped about something, you ask Tino to help you out. That's what I'm paying him for. Agreed? Agreed. Good. I'd like to know more about the accidents. I asked Ollie, but he said you said he wasn't allowed to talk about them. I didn't mean he couldn't talk about them with you. Ugh. I'll give him a call. As for the accidents, the first thing that happened was the worst. The Farringdale family and Becky the cook all came down with food poisoning and had to be hospitalized. Somehow, the potato salad got contaminated, although Becky swears it wasn't because of anything she did. I cannot tell you how awful it was. All five people became violently ill at roughly the same time. But were they all in the same room? Of course not. They were spread out all over the lodge. Poor Elsa was cleaning for days. And the odor? Oh my gosh. Anyway. Then Carl Jenkins slipped on the stairs outside and broke his leg. Then Lou Talbot's window was broken. Then Elsa the maid's tires were slashed. Then the phone wires were cut. And then... Oh yeah. And then the south weights were almost overcome by fumes when gas started leaking into the sauna. But the only incidents that you can be sure were sabotage were the tires, the phone wires, and maybe the explosion in the bunkhouse? I'm not sure about anything. That's why you're there. To sort everything out before something else happens. Did you know that some photos are missing from the display case in the lobby? Really? Last I looked, they were all there. I think. The caption for them says something like, Young and old have stayed at Icicle Creek Lodge. I can't remember what they were pictures of, and I sure don't know why they'd be missing. That bone trapper Dan found is missing from its case, too. First the accident, now someone's stealing from me? Nancy, you've got to find out what's going on there. If you don't, I'll never be able to convince my dad I'm not a loser. Ever. How come the entries for last year were deleted from the guest register? They've been deleted? That's what the computer says. Contents deleted. Well, I didn't delete them. Freddy. Ollie's daughter? Has she done other things like that? No, but you know how kids are these days. Always hacking into computers, programming them to spread viruses and steal passwords and blow up the world. I think that's only in movies. Besides, pretty much all this person had to do was press the delete key. I still say it was Freddy. Last week, I called that Snow Princess game she's always playing idiotic. I think it hurt her feelings. But she'd just gotten done plastering me with snowballs. What'd she expect me to say? That felt great. Do it again? The guests that are in the lodge now, did any of them stay here last year? Let's see. Lou Talbot stayed here last summer, but only very briefly. His car had broken down, and he was waiting for a tow truck. Oh, and Yanni. He was here last winter. He and his trainer, they were checking out places to train. They didn't stay long either. Has anyone talked to you about the World Championship Cross-Country Skiing Competition that's going to be held somewhere in this area year after next? That is something I am not at liberty to discuss. In other words, the answer is yes. I didn't say that. Why do you ask? I can't help but wonder if Yanni Volkstaya is here because he knows about the championship, too, and he's up to something. Up to something like what? Like he's been known to rent or buy all the housing near cross-country events so his competitors have to stay miles away. What? You mean he could be causing these accidents in order to run me out of business, then buy the lodge on the cheap? Mm, it's a thought. And a pretty nasty one at that. Is it true that you promised Ollie a raise, but you haven't given it to him yet? He told you that? I can't believe it. Meaning? Okay, I mentioned to Ollie once that I thought he maybe deserved a raise, and now every time I turn around, he's all like, where's the raise you promised me? Where's the raise you promised me? Doesn't he realize I have a few other things to think about right now? I swear, sometimes that crabby little whiner drives me nuts. I better get back to work. One more thing. Ask Yanni if it would be all right if I used his name and picture on the Icicle Creek Lodge website. I mean, when I finally have a website, it would be great publicity, okay? Sure. Good. Talk to you soon.